afternoon, guys. It's working, bringing you a quick update on EOS. Hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, we're looking at EOS to the US dollar. This is the four hour chart on Bitfinex, guys. And uh, clearly, EOS broke above this wedge. Uh, we broke above 5.20. As I told you last time, it found support right, or resistance, excuse me, right where we thought it would at about 5.60. Actually, it's about a little short of that at about 5.56. Um, but uh, even though it rejected off this pretty hard, um, it didn't It didn't break below other than by just a wick, very briefly, didn't break below this what was resistance resistance now is acting as support between 5.20 5.35 so it's most for the most part has maintained most of the gains that it made which is a very bullish indication in my opinion now we are entering kind of a consolidation period where price is getting squeezed tighter and tighter we can see here if I just draw a wick or excuse me if I draw a line from wick to wick we can see we're getting a series of higher lows and also lower highs so as it gets ratchet approaches the apex, the closer it gets to the apex, the more likely a breakout is to occur. Doesn't mean it has to break up, just means a breakout could be up or down. But as I said, in my opinion, this is looking rather, uh, this is starting to look rather bullish. Now, if I put my Elliott hat on, which I don't like to do in lower volume, um, uh, lower volume in, um, markets, which this is an extreme low volume market right now, um, I was looking at this from a rather bearish point of view. I was looking at this as kind of an A, this for the B and back down for the C. And if that was the case, guys, if we did break this prior low, which if this is the count, we probably the C wave probability tells us C is going to break, would probably fall far enough to break this prior low, which would invalidate this as a primary wave one and this as a primary wave two. We'd be looking at some type of a failed wave, an X wave, and then some type of uh, ABC correction to start up another failed or another. Uh, um, to start the pattern all over again, if that is in fact the count. But I'm starting to look at this just based on how we had this this double tap up here, almost a double top. However, it didn't break back down at all. It uh, it broke down a little bit, and then the bulls pushed it right back up, and it entered into this consolidation phase. So I'm starting to wonder if this is in fact more likely an A, B, down for the C, either this type of account. And if that is the case, what are we looking at? We're more than likely looking at a sub wave one, two, three something like this, four. Now I realize this four would overlap the one, but you can see it's only by a wick, which Elliott allows for that. And then we'd be up for the five, subway five, something like something along those lines. I'm not saying that is that that's where the five actually would probably be. I'd probably put the five somewhere around there for now. Um, but uh, again, I'm not saying that is the count, guys. I'm just saying it's starting to look like it's a real possibility. And this doesn't have to be the count either. I could count this as something like this, a long A, B, and C. Now again, I know I, the A typically has five waves in, B has three, C has five. If I dig in here, guys, could I get five waves out of the A and five waves out of the C and three out of the B if I dig into the 30 minute chart? Well, I can tell you that I can, I've done it, and yes, I can. Is it beautiful? No, it's not. But this market, again, with Elliott, it's it's almost, this is why I don't like to trade it, um, with in, in a very low volume market. In a high volume market, it works just beautifully. But in a low volume market, it's, you know, you're almost forcing a count. But if I had to force a count, guys, I'm starting to wonder if this isn't a one, two, three, possibly four and up for the five. That's a real possibility. If price does break above this six, five, four, zero, and I do think if we get an impulse um, up off this uh, 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 5.35, if we get a nice influx of volume that pushes it above this 5.60, um, I think it's going to very quickly come into this 5.80 mark, uh, 5.80 to 5.96, possibly testing this descending resistance line. Guys, you remember this descending resistance line has been in place since uh, mid-June and it's been tested numerous times since mid-June we're looking at the daily if I went into the four hour you'd see that it would be tested even more um, so yeah th that's, a, that's a very relevant zone if price can break above that descending resistance line break above this four this will be this is going to act as a very strong resistance guys no doubt about it if price does break up in here I, I do expect it to bounce um, even if it does continue to the upside once it corrects I do expect it to find some resistance here um, certainly bounce back that'd be a nice place to play a quick scalp trade to short it um, from um, somewhere uh, around maybe 5.90 targeting about 5.60 5.50 I think that'd be a good risk to reward if you're going to short the market and from that point it may come right back up but I'd have a very tight stop because if it does break above this ascending resistance line I do think there's a very um, high probability we're going to come up into at least minimum of this order block right here 
um, between uh, 6.40, 6.77, somewhere thereabouts. Possibly this order block up here between $7 and $7.30. And I do believe this order block up here between $7 and $7.30 is going to act as a very, very strong uh, resistance. That is a very good supply zone. You can see it up here, guys. We've got it broke down, wick, 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 and then just broke completely down. So there's a lot of sell orders that are sitting up here. So if and when price does make it up there, make it up here, I do think that's going to act as a strong resistance. Wouldn't that be another place if you wanted to short the market to play a quick short? Doesn't mean that it's going to bounce and go back down into a bear trend just means it'll find resistance here and more than likely we'll have a little retrace um, before it uh, before it continues to the upside if it continues to the upside um, so anyway guys just to give you kind of a heads up um, on uh, on what I'm looking at to the downside um, we've extended as I said guys as I did with Bitcoin we extended our ascending support line here off of our wedge if price does break below that wedge guys um, that's kind of the cutoff for me if it breaks below that wedge probability tells me we're gonna come down and test this bottom here so more than likely retest this support what has acted as a very strong support here since uh, uh, going all the way back to August 20th um, and it just hasn't been able to break through on the daily by anything more than a wick it has broken through by a wick but quickly the bulls brought it right back up so i do think it may come back down test this zone again um, and if and when that does happen guys if that does break down we're looking at 450 if that breaks down possibly coming back down as low as four dollars 350 somewhere thereabouts now i'm not saying that's going to happen i'm just saying these are the very relevant um, support um, and resistance zone that we need to keep an eye on but my opinion as long as bitcoin can hold or if bitcoin certainly if bitcoin does break up my opinion is EOS is going to break up. The only thing that can stop EOS, in my opinion at this point, um, is if, EOS, if uh, Bitcoin does break down. Um, if Bitcoin continues sideways, um, I think EOS may consolidate a little further, may come closer to this apex, and then just take off. If we look at our, um, our uh, RSI, looking at the daily, it's sitting here right around 50, so just a very neutral looking RSI, guys. Stock RSI is something very similar. Um, and the uh, uh, daily MACD, has actually just crossed over into bullish territory, so that is a uh, bullish sign. Let's see if that can continue. Uh, if that can continue trending to the upside, one thing that I do like about EOS is anytime that it's crossed over into bullish territory, guys, it has massively uh, on the daily. I should say on the daily, um, the histogram has massively trended up, at least here in the recent past. Very, very only all. I have to. I have to go back all the way to March to find a time when we've trended into bullish territory and then just kind of fell right back over. Uh, most of the time since uh, you know since early March every time it's come into bullish territory it's just taken off um, at least you know at, at least uh, enough to make a decent profit not necessarily at all-time highs but certainly enough to make a decent profit so that's something that we're keeping an eye on for now we're looking at move uh, looking at our uh, moving averages this is on the daily uh, we can see that price is above this eight-day EMA it's trying to get above it's it's finding resistance at the 21 day EMA if price can break above this 21 day EMA that is always a good sign of a momentum shift if we come in here and we look at long positions guys Long positions are remaining relatively stagnant, uh, kind of moving sideways. In the last day, they've kind of started to tick up, but relative overall, they're kind of they're pretty much stagnant. And if we look at shorts, we can see that shorts have dropped off dramatically over the last uh, 24 hours or so, but still remain relatively stacked. So it's almost a, a standoff between long and shorts, which means the EOS market is pretty much operating as it should. If we look at, uh, uh, I shouldn't say that, it's, it's, it's definitely beholden to Bitcoin. Um, but uh, but as far as longs and shorts are concerned, they're, they're pretty relatively uh, they're, they're relatively stacked they're pretty even I should say I'm um, looking at the uh, looking at the daily as I said guys we're trying to get above that 21 day EMA coming back to the four hour chart um, whoop, that's not what I wanted sorry guys looking at the four hour chart we can see that price is starting to uh, this again is giving us another reason to expect a possible larger move here in the very short term uh, or in short term in, in the next 24 to 48 hours we can see that EOS tried to break up here we can see that the Bollinger Bands were bottlenecking the 21 day and um, 8 day EMA were converging I told you to expect a larger move we got that it moved up percentage wise much higher than Bitcoin did um, but Bitcoin just kind of uh, unfortunately Bitcoin kind of topped it out there because Bitcoin found resistance EOS just kind of stopped there and just and it's consolidated to move sideways. The good news is this gives it uh, more of a chance to kind of build momentum. We can see now even more than back then, we've got the 8, 21, and 55 day EMA all converging literally almost on top of each other the 200 day moving average is also converging and we have bottlenecking if i just let me pull up here we got the uh, bollinger bands just bottlenecking at an at a just um, at a very very high degree so this i would be very surprised if we don't see eos break in one direction or another very very um uh in, in a much larger move in the next 24 to 48 hours it just looks that way guys um and, and the only thing that's gonna and i think the only thing that prevent it from breaking up is if bitcoin 
Bitcoin does break down. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it there. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please uh, let me know in the comment section below. As always, I would appreciate an upvote, re-steam, or a like, depending on where you're viewing this. Until next time, guys, please trade safe. Take care of yourselves. This is working. Signing out.